In this tutorial, we're going to look at current and voltage in a series circuit. So if we take a, a very basic series circuit that has uh, two lamps or two resistors in that circuit, and um, our battery has a positive and negative terminal, and the conventional current, as we know, will flow from positive to negative. Um, just as a reminder, the, uh, the current is defined as the rate at which charge flows through the circuit. So charge per second, or coulomb, coulombs per second is the, the units for that. And you can imagine that we've got these little charges Q. Um, they could be electrons, they could be positive charges moving around the circuit, um, and they are going to encounter those lamps. Now, I think it's pretty clear to see that these charges have no choice in a series circuit but to move through the entire circuit. If you consider the, um, the lamps as being a little bit like um, a traffic jam, you know, they, they impede the current because they're resistors, well, the result of the current being impeded by those res resistors is that the current will end up having to reduce down to the same rate everywhere in the circuit. So one really important uh, first rule to understand is the current everywhere in the circuit is the same. So if I was to put an ammeter um, in this location, or this location, or anywhere in fact in the circuit, the current would, would be the same. So I total is equal to I1 is equal to I2. The current is the same everywhere in the circuit. Now we we'll look at voltage. Well, the voltage, if you remember, is the potential difference uh, and defined as the energy per coulomb of charge. So what happens is these charges are flowing through the circuit and they are collecting energy from the battery. So let's imagine that we've got a 10 volt battery here. These guys here each have um, 10 joules of energy. So if we think of them as each being a one coulomb of charge, they'll each have 10 joules of energy. Now as they move around the circuit, they're going to encounter these resistors, these lamps. And as a result, they're gonna to have to give up some of their energy to those lamps. Now, if those lamps are identical in terms of resistance, then they're going to have to give up or share that energy equally between those two lamps. So in, the case, in that case, it would be both 5 joules to each lamp. Um, if the resistances are different, well, then they'll share in a ratio, depending on the value of the resistors, which we can come to later on. Those problems are a little bit uh, more challenging. So essentially, if we were to put a voltmeter across the lamp 1, and a voltmeter across lamp 2, we know that the energy has to be shared between those two lamps. If we start out with 10 volts, and 10 volts is our total, V total, then the energy must be shared between V1 and V2. So there'll be a potential drop as charges move through the first lamp, and another drop in potential, a drop in voltage across the second lamp. And then the charges will come back to the battery to then gain an additional 10, or gain 10 more joules of energy. So there is your formula for determining the voltage in a series circuit. So as a quick summary, in a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere in the circuit. And for a series circuit, the voltage is shared between components in the circuit.